Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike and today I am out at Port Canaveral. Um, SpaceX is doing a launch of a satellite and it is gonna happen at 640. So I'm here at about six o'clock, a little bit early. Um, from what I read online, they recommend getting here a couple hours early. Get to your viewing spot a couple hours early. You know, there's numerous places you can watch uh, the launch. And so I am at Jetty Park on Port Canaveral. If you go past the actual ports, uh, Terminal 1, Terminal 3, you know, where Carnival and Royal Caribbean take off. If you go past those, you go all the way to the end of that road, and then um, you'll run into Jetty Park. Uh, it's $15 to get in uh, for a day pass. If you're military, it's $12. And if you have a disabled veteran tag, license plate, a Florida disabled veteran license plate, it's free to get in here if there's room. So luckily there was room here. And so I'm here. I was told it was a good spot to watch it. And so let's go check it out and see just how good of a spot it is to watch. So. All right, so I am at Port Canaveral at Jetty Park and there's going to be a launch tonight off of uh, number 40, whatever it is. What's the, the launch complex 40? Launch pad 40. And so did some Googling. There's a lot of places you can watch it from, but I'm trying to get as close as I can so I can see it at the launch pad. But I don't think I'm going to be able to see it, um, but I'm at Jetty Park, and as you can see, there's people here that got here a little bit early. I'm about 30 minutes till it launches, and uh, I'm just going to set up my tripod and try to take some pictures. The lady we came through said, go to the pier. If the pier doesn't work, then go to... Oh, sh F-35s. But anyway, I'm just set up and uh, get ready to take some pictures.
that was the launch. I tried to film it with my big camera, but I need a uh, longer lens. A 180 millimeter is not going to get the job done. Oh well, it's still pretty cool. Uh, initially, I was pointing in the wrong direction, but figured it out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So, all right, now I'm gonna head back. If you want to walk all the way out to the pier, there's the pier out there. However, you can sit here on the rocks and get the same view pretty much because the rocket comes like right over there. And so there's really not much difference of a view. You might have to wait two seconds before you see it versus one second if you walk all the way out to the pier. So if I was to come back here, I would just bring a chair, maybe a couple drinks and just sit here on the rocks. Here's the rocks in case you don't know what I'm talking about. I would just sit on the rocks and point my face that direction and uh, wait for the rocket to take off. It's not, in my opinion, it's not worth it walking down the pier. But anyway, just wanted to give uh, my two cents on that one. <laughs> All right, and so if you're wondering where the pier is, when you pull into, what's this called? Jetty, Jetty Park. Jetty Park. You just basically go all the way to the end. You just keep the road straight or keep going on the road straight. You'll see like the welcome center over there. It'll be on your right. And then the pier is actually right over there. And just go to the water. You'll be able to find it. There is, you know, some grills. You can come out here and grill out the charcoal grills. They got a playground. The sun's making it super dark over there, so might not be able to see it. Let me see if I can get a better view. See, there's the playground. Bring your RV if you want. Man, that's really, the sun's really messing up this lighting, so I don't think you're going to be able to see any of that. But I mean, it's cool. I think it's $15 for a day pass. Uh, annual pass, if you're not a resident, is $25. I mean, it's $100 if you're not a resident. If you're a resident of Brevard County, it's $25. But one cool thing, um, you know, Florida is very military friendly. So if you have a disabled veteran license plate, then you can park here for free. You can park at the piers for free. You can park at the airport for free. Uh, you can park in parking garage run by the city for free. So. If you are a disabled veteran, I would highly recommend getting the Florida um, the Florida Disabled Veteran tag. And it only works in Florida, so I had a North Carolina one before I moved here, and it doesn't work. It needs to be a Florida Disabled Veteran tag. So, Anyway, once again, that was my day. I appreciate you guys watching if you made it this far. So have a great day, and I will see you all later. Bye.